Hey gang, it's Batjack JW here, and we have an unboxing for you, and you can see what it is already. Let's go ahead and open this up, see what we got. Awesome stuff. We have another Colt. So let's go ahead and take it out of here. We got the uh, hang tags and the grips. So, the original grips that it came with, right here. Alright, let's take a better look at the gun. Series 70, Colt, Mark IV, Gold Cup National Match. That is indeed what it actually says. Alright, barrel hood here. You can see it's marked Colt. Alright, National Match, Gold Cup. This is a newer, uh, one of their newer production guns, and which I am absolutely thrilled with. I'm going to tell you guys right now, I guess I'm a, I'm a bit of a fanboy with Colt. I do love their, their pistols, they're just fantastic, and there's nothing like a true Colt 1911. So, and I know that's kind of a little in jest, you know, as Colt has changed hands throughout the time, and uh, there's a lot of speculation on the CZ and o owning them. Well, CZ also owns Dan Wesson, and those 1911s are absolutely phenomenal. If you've seen some of my other videos with fellow YouTuber I Carry One, don't forget to go over and check his channel out. Um, you know, he's got a lot of uh, Dan Wessons that are just superb. They're just the fit and finish on them is unbelievable. So, it actually, it could only be for the better. So, this one here, uh, this is a gold cup, and it's one of the newer ones. I really liked uh, the fact that, um, you know, it's just, it does have enough modern features on it that I liked. Um, but a lot of the old school that I do love. So they did do a flat top on them like all the gold cups are, which I think is actually really uh, neat. I love the way that looks. Uh, it's kind of cool. Now don't get me wrong, I'm a really big fan of the just the plain Jane, but that's really cool. So the uh, serrations on the gold cups are, are angled forward. And they do have this little beveled cut out here. They do have that scoop out here, that extra metal that's been taken out. And some people absolutely hate that. Um, it doesn't necessarily bother me. I'll show you what I'm talking about. I actually have an older gold cup here in the uh, the true caliber. I guess some of the purists would say the 45 Auto. Um, you can see there there uh, there is no extra cutout there. And versus like on the uh, the newer one there, you can see it just right ahead of that. So, all right. Now, keeping in with tradition to the gold cups, uh, it is a wide trigger. The trigger is a lot wider than your standard one, so you're not going to be able to just swap parts uh, really easily. Okay, flat mainspring housing, which is indeed steel. It's not a polymer mainspring housing like they have been known to do. All right, I do like the fact that we kept the traditional grip safety, even though I know it's not the most comfortable. But for me, that traditional grip safety was everything. Now. This sight is, diff is uh, actually marked Colt. Got the rampant pony on there. They don't have that cross pin anymore that was notorious for drifting out. I'll show you what I'm talking about in a little bit here. You can see on the, on the other side it is marked with the serpentine logo and everything. And the uh, elevation. Okay, The roll marks are gorgeous. They're deep. They're not the, uh, they are not those etchings. So you can expect that if you want to pick one up, they are actually roll marked. All right. Now the old uh, the old sights uh, they were called the Ellison sight, I believe. Yeah, there it is, the Ellison sight, and then that pin right there was notorious for drifting out. In fact, as you can see, I haven't had this out for a while out of the safe. It's actually kind of drifting a little bit. Now the roll marks on the original uh, Mark IV Series 70 guns were rather sometimes faint. I actually did an entire video on that. Uh, so I really, I pride myself in when I buy these older ones, I make sure if the roll marks are washed out, I won't usually buy them. And you can see here, it usually will start to fade off right there. So, okay. Magazine, it comes with one stainless mag. Um, they are not made by Colt. Unfortunately, I don't know why they've started to uh, outsource them. You can see the bottom here, stamp plate. You got the Rampant Pony Colt, the Caliber, S for stainless steel, I believe, and M, I believe, is for the maker. Uh, it could be Megar, it could be Metal Form, 
uh, somebody else has made the mags now Colt has not made their own mags for quite some time but anyway uh, even though it is marked the series 70 so inherently everybody the first thing that they talk about is the firing pin block which it does not have that's an indication of the series 70 but what really it is is it's the collet barrel bushing which this does not have uh, which that's what kind of made them the series 70 which my uh, my other one here does have a collet barrel bushing on it so anyway uh, really cool I really think the uh, roll marks again are a lot nicer than the, uh, the some of the billboard ones I, I do like the way that kind of rolled out there <laughs> so uh, the original grips that it comes with is indeed really nice they uh, they went and added the uh, the medallion that they actually stopped for a while there all you get is the plain you know checkered ones with the diamonds on them which I'm not the biggest fan of the diamonds but you know this one at least they put the logo on there you, know, you got the logos the grips are fairly nice they are not marked on the other side usually sometimes these are and which wouldn't surprise me if these are outsourced by somebody uh, but I had ones that were made by uh, alt mount and they actually were stamped on the inside and they came on a Colt but uh, these don't appear to be somebody may be making them um, like I said I highly doubt uh, they are uh, as they haven't really been doing that but you know again I'm not trying to beat up Colt but I, I am I am a fanboy of theirs and there's some things that as a fanboy I kind of dislike of the things that they're they've been doing so alright the trigger is phenomenal I mean it is great uh, it's everything you'd want out of a gold cup in fact just to um, refresh my memory yeah it's it matches the old ones to to a almost to a T um, are they as good I mean they they really it's almost hard to hard to tell it really is now one of the things the biggie for me was that the old original ones like the uh, the vintage series 70 1970s ones the uh, the biggest thing was that that bump spring there is on a sear on the sear inside if you ever go to take these things apart there's like this little shoe that wraps around the sear with a pin going through it and there's a spring in there once you undo that it it's kind of a nightmare to put them back together you need a slave pin uh, that's the only way I found it, to easily do it uh, it really is just a hassle to do now I, I will not proud to say that <laughs> I am happy to say that Colt had did away with that great choice to do away with it uh, I understand it was to get the uh, the trigger pull a lot better and crisp but they were able to do it without that so hence they're like their pythons you know they were able to redo some things and make that action just as slick just as smooth as they ever were with uh, less of the uh, intricacy of it I guess you would say so alright now the trigger is slightly different in the new ones you get the three holes drilled I guess you could buy a vintage trigger and pop them in there the other ones were slotted like this it still has the over travel right there the over travel there alright now the history of the gold cups you know they kinda came out they were originally uh, made for the matches you could take it to the uh, those matches and and kind of basically go out there it's a gun ready right out of the box good to go uh, the slides were a little thinned out they were they're a little thinner let's take a look at the vintage one I believe that's what it was because they they said you shouldn't shoot straight up hardball ammunition in them I mean not saying that they can't handle it but uh, they did recommend you don't uh, because you could you know, get potentially crack the slide or something like that so you gotta remember this is a target gun it is you know that's what kind of was intended for as a target gun so you don't want to be right out there blasting some hardcore stuff out of it so the last thing we'll touch on is why I became interested in this well it's quite simple Cobra this is ultimately what he pretty much has in the movie Cobra